Hi, my name is Brittany and welcome to my channel. In this video today, I'll show you how I like to paint a floral sympathy watercolor card. I like to have my card match the flowers that I give. So I'm going to look at this bouquet that I bought and use it as inspiration for this card. The card size I chose to do is seven by five. So my paper needs to be six and a half by four and a half inches to leave a border around it when I tape it to my craft card. I have my pot of water here and my watercolor paints and I'm going to use my Emma Lefebvre size 6 brush for this little painting. I want to start off by painting the little pink roses so I'm taking my Quinacridone magenta and I'm going to mix a little bit of the Jaune Brilliant into it and then to tone it down a bit I'm just going to take a little bit of my sap green and mix that in. So now I want to start in this bottom left hand corner and I think I'll paint three little pink roses and I'll start with the center and I do that by just making little C strokes around each other and as I go out each layer I'm making thicker strokes and they become more watery and lighter than the center and I just keep going until I have the shape and size of rose that I'm looking for With just water on my brush now, I'm gonna go around these outer petals and just touch the edges and make the petals a little bit bigger and lighter in color. Now I'll move on to my second rose and I'll put it right here. I'm just gonna repeat that same process of painting the center first in a darker color and then lightening the color as I move outward. Now that I'm happy with the shape of those roses, I'm going to take a darker color and I'm going to go back in while they're still wet and just drop it around the center to darken it up. And then I just randomly drop some paint here and there. I'll paint my third and final rose here. Just repeating the steps that I did with those other pink roses. This rose got a little dark so I'm just going to take my brush with no pigment or water on it and I'll just wipe here and there to pick up the paint and leave some white behind. All right, now I'm going to move on to my next flower, which is these little purple daisy looking flowers. So I'm just picking up my mineral violet and it looks like I've got a little mix of the pink in there with it too. And I'm just going to draw these straight little lines going around a center and then I'll fill that in with yellow. I'm picking up a mixture of my areolan and yellow ochre. I'll just dab that in the center while it's still wet and let it bleed out into the purple. Then I'll add a second little purple flower right here. In this bouquet that I bought, there are these really pretty berries that are a pinkish orange color. So I'm just picking up, I think I added a little Scarlet Lake to my pink to make it orange. I'll paint these little circles. I'll paint three of them with a darker color and then I'll rinse off my brush here and just paint some other berries with just water and let the pigment bleed into it. I'll also add those same berries over on this side. start adding some greenery so I'm picking up this beautiful undersea green from Daniel Smith and I'll just start placing leaves here and there and start filling in these gaps
I'll add some little green stems and leaves to these little berries. And the paint is a little wet, so the green will make some beautiful bleeds into the pink. I want to add some different shades of green, so I'm going to add some aureolin to my sap green or undersea green that I have here and just add these little leaves throughout the painting. Now I'm taking my Perylene dark green color and I'll just keep filling in these gaps on the edge of the paper here. And I'll just paint the same dark green leaves over on this side of the painting. It's at about this point in the painting where I start thinking, I don't know if this is going to turn out so great or it's not looking so wonderful. But as long as you just keep painting and stick with it, once we add the darks in the end, it'll turn out fine. So I'll leave it how it is for now and I'll flip it over to the other side. I'm just going to paint the same flowers, the little pink rose and the little purple flowers and fill it in with leaves and berries just like I did on the other side.
now that I filled in this corner, I'll flip it around again. And I'm just going to go back into my roses with a darker pink color. And I'll start by darkening the center again. And just like we did in the beginning, it'll be darker in the middle and then get lighter as we go out to the outer petals. With just water on my brush now, I'll go back in and touch the edges of that paint that I just laid down, which will allow it to blend out nicely. And I'll just go ahead and repeat that process on these other two roses. I also want to darken up these purple flowers so I have a darker shade of my mineral violet and I'm just tracing over the flower but leaving some of the light purple to show through as well. I'm just picking up some more purple and I'm just going to put a dot on each of these berries. Now I want to add a really dark color, so I'm picking up some of my perlene green and Payne's gray. And I'll just pick a few places and add these little leaves in this really dark shade. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'll flip this painting over and I'll repeat the same steps that I just did in that corner. And then we'll finish up this little card.
I always like to add a thin gold border around the edges here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now that the painting is finished, I just need to add my words. So I'm going to give myself a couple lines here as a guide. On this card, I've decided to write sorry for your loss, but you can of course choose whatever words you'd like to write. I'll take my Tombow calligraphy pen, and this isn't one I usually use. I think this is my soft tip one, but I prefer my hard tip one. I just couldn't find it, and I was too lazy to go search for it. But anyway, it will do the job, and I'll just go ahead and trace over my pencil writing. Now that the ink has dried, I'll take my eraser and just get rid of all the pencil marks that are still showing. Now all that's left to do is tape this to my craft card and I'm using my crafter's tape to tape that on. And I run out of it right here, but I usually tape all four sides. And that's all there is to it. This is the finished card and I'm happy with how it turned out. This card is going to my cousin and her family who had to put their sweet puppy dog down recently. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching.